Hello and welcome to House of Amenike. I am the one, the only KW33A queen, which means knowledge, wisdom, understanding, newbie, and we put it all together, baby. Welcome to House of Amenike. Uh, welcome to Taurus, July the 11th through the 15th reading, okay, where we will see what is coming to you for the week of the 11th through the 15th, which you can expect, all right? And um, for some of you, you could be experiencing this not only for this week, but um, it may be for, you may experience some of these things through the month, throughout the month of July, or the rest of what is left of July, okay? So I already meditated, spoke to my spiritual team, and um, pulled you guys some cards. Okay, especially with the uh, ancestors cards, the ones that you see right here at the top, the goddess cards. I asked for three, but I shuffled y'all deck like two, three times and they just kept giving me four. And some of the same cards just kept coming out. So I said, you know what? I'm not even going to fight with you. <clears throat> I'm just going to accept the four cards, even though I wanted three. Okay. So if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, here on this channel, I do all types of readings, pick a cards, love, you name it, I do it here, okay? Where we give you nothing but the uncut, the real, and the raw, okay? Straight cut throat, honey. I, I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear, what you want to know, and this is not based off of what I feel like you should know, okay? The way how I pick the cards, they have to pop out for me because I feel like if it don't pop out, then it's not a message. I do not like picking the energy. I prefer it to pop out. So I know that that is from the divine. Okay, so your cards have been picked out by the divine, not from me. So this is coming from your ancestors, your gods, your goddesses, those that you believe in and those that you resonate with. Okay, so take this reading. Um as if it, as it fits you, do not try to make this story fit you. If this is not your story, leave it for another beautiful, lovely. And with that being said, all those uh, returning viewers who are subscribed to my channel, hello, welcome back again. And let's get into it, okay? We ain't going to be talking so long, too long, okay? So, Taurus, the first card that came out for you is one of my favorite songs. Rhiannon, <laughs> okay, um, Rhiannon, the sorceress, you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality, okay, so Taurus, you have the power to manifest any and everything that you want into reality, okay, so that is what your spirit guides are saying right now, your goddesses, like you have the power, whatever it is, whatever you want, just manifest it, you can have it, okay, stop limiting yourself, okay, also you got Isalt, undying love, the love you have shared is eternal, regardless of the situation, okay, so whoever you shared love with, or whatever, it's eternal. And that that the love is gonna stick with this person um forever, okay? It's undying, okay? Or you have a love that is undying, okay, that is real, it's sincere, okay? Also, you got Cordelia. Go outside. You have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. Okay, so, so some of you may have been inside. Your angels, your spiritual team is asking you to go outside. Go get some fresh air. Go take a walk. Go just sit in nature, okay? Get that vitamin D. Sit in the sunshine, all right? Also, you got ISIS, past life. This situation involves your past life memories, okay? Maybe some of you want to manifest something that you may have wanted from your past life. Okay, maybe you're dealing with something from your past life, but let's get more into it, all right? So, um, your ancestor cards, I picked uh, three cards, okay? The first card that came out for you guys is, your ascension is here. You are leveling up. It might be challenging, 
but you will get through it, okay? So that came right out under Rhiannon, okay? So whatever it is that you have been manifesting, okay, your ascension is here. You are leveling up, okay? Right now, it may seem challenging for you, Taurus. You might seem like nothing is going to happen or maybe things are not going your way, but it is because why? Doors are finally open, opening okay your angels your ancestors are saying the weight wasn't punishment it was preparation okay okay they were testing you they wanted to make sure that you were ready to go through these doors and now the time has come with spirit is about if the doors haven't already opened spirit is about to open up these doors for you okay they're about to let you walk through what it is that you've been manifesting, what it is that you've been praying about. They're about to gift you with whatever it is that you've been wanting, whatever it is that you've been needing, okay? Also, you got, it's okay if you thought you were over it, but it hits you all over again. Healing is a process, okay? So for some of you, you know, <clears throat> um, maybe you have... Um, been going through heartbreak or something ended or you're healing from a loss or something, whether it's a loss of love, a loss of a job, a loss of whatever the fuck. Only you know your situation, okay? Healing is a process. So it's okay if every time you think about it or, you know, you might hear a song or you might reminisce or whatever. It's okay. It's okay. Take the time to heal properly, to release, to get it out, okay? Everything is going to be good. Just surrender to the divine, okay? Also, you have your commitment is being tested. What I say with uh, why Spirit is saying it may be challenging, but you will get through it. They are testing you right now, okay? Your commitment is being tested, whether this is for love or job or something that you are trying to create for yourself or whatever the case may be. It's be, Your commitment is being tested. So the divine may have sent you something and they're, they're testing. They're testing your commitment to see if this is what you really want, if this is what you, um, if you can really handle what it is that you're asking for. Okay. Also, spirit wants you to surrender to the divine. What I just say with the, uh, with the healing as a process or whatever, okay? Surrender to the divine at this time, okay? Whatever you're going through, whatever you're dealing with, spirit wants you to surrender, okay? Give it to them, all right? And bring love into the situation, okay? Don't beat yourself up, all right? This came underneath the healing as a process card, the one I just uh, read to you. Bring love into the situation, okay? Don't beat yourself up about whatever it is, all right? Now, let's take a look at uh, your love card. Let's see what's going on in your relationships, whether you're single. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, y'all. All right, excuse me. I had to take a sip. Whether you're single or you're already involved. So let's see what messages come out for Taurus. Oh, you got heart with a key. Okay. We got welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together. Perfect. Okay. So this definitely sounds like new love coming in. Or this could be a new person who you have been with. And um, somebody is giving you their heart with a key. Okay. Like you're getting together more. You're, you're being more acceptive um, to the situation and not really trying to run from it. Okay, Taurus? So that is wonderful. Let's see. What else? What other messages? Oh, let me fix these cards. What other messages for Taurus for July the 11th through the 15th in love? What else can they expect? Okay, excuse me. You got hand of cards. Take a chance, risk, being strategic options, 
not showing hey gamble okay so sprint wants you to take a risk okay take a chance with this new love with this new person that has entered your life what i'm getting for you a lot of you this is a new person and for some of you i'm getting that you may have just met this person okay so sprint is saying take a chance okay you got the ace <laughs> okay their name could start with an a <laughs> okay that could also be a, a hidden gem okay you could be dealing with somebody whose name starts with an a as well um yeah so take a chance with this person taurus all right <clears throat> spirit to say it's okay to take a chance because this is the one okay let's see what other cards come out for you okay <clears throat> these all fail out <sighs> you know what let's see okay <clears throat> So, this was the first card that came out. Okay. So, you have this in reverse, the runner. Okay. So, I'm saying that you're not running from this situation anymore. <clears throat> or this could be the person that you're dealing with. They're not running from you anymore. I'm saying that, uh, if anything, they're running towards you or you're running towards them. It's like a light bulb that went off. Okay. With you both. Also, also, you got um, wedding ring, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting. So this person, um, especially if this is a new love, new beginning, um, I'm saying that this involves wedding rings, that you possibly could be getting married to this person, okay? <clears throat> All right. So, yeah, it's definitely meant to be with it coming out underneath the heart with a key. And now you got the wedding rings. You see how that rhymes, Taurus? Okay, let's see what other messages come out for Taurus. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I have a little summer cold. <laughs> so, bear with me. All right, what else comes out for Taurus? through July the 11th through the 15th. What else does Taurus need to know? One more card, please. Well, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. We got heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving. Okay, I'm saying that some of you may have, um, may be in heartbreaking mode right now. Maybe um, you're in separation from your person right now, but I am seeing that this is going to work out, okay? So, yeah, you're just going to be heartbroken just for a little bit. You and this person are definitely coming back together, Taurus, okay? Because it's either you're going to stop running or they are stop running, okay? And <clears throat> you both will be willing to take the risk, take the chance with one another, and you're both going to welcome love, okay? Whether, whether it's you or both of you, okay? <clears throat> Let me get one more message. Oh, we have camera. Reminiscent, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. Okay, I'm seeing that a lot of you will be making new memories with this person. Also, <clears throat> I'm seeing that you're going to be learning from the past. Maybe um, from the past when, when, when you were dealing with someone, you're learning from your past mistakes to try not to make the same mistakes in this new connection to ours. Okay, that's what I'm getting for a lot of you. <clears throat> okay. So, let's get some more love cards for you guys. See what else is going on in your relationship. Okay, so these three cards wanted to come out. So, I'm just going to keep them. Okay, so we have codependency. We have children. Love yourself first. Okay. So the codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life, okay? This could be <clears throat> codependency. This could be you being codependent on something or someone or whatnot. Um, for a lot of you, it could be something that you may be addicted to. Maybe some of you may be 
um, addicted to drinking, addicted to smoking, you know what I'm saying? Or just codependent on someone else or whatever. So it's definitely affecting your romantic life, okay? And you're needing to let that go. Children, also your love life is being affected by children, all right? For some of you, this could mean um, you may have a child coming. Okay? <clears throat> Children may be affecting your life. Okay? For those of you who can have children, um, hell, it could be a girl and a boy, twins. Um, maybe you could be meeting someone with children, or maybe you could be hearing about a pregnancy or something with a person that you're dealing with. Um, so your love life is being affected by children. Yeah. Um, take that how it resonates. Okay. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, Taurus. Um, yes, yeah, some of you, you know, you need to learn how to love yourself. I get that you want love, but you need to work on yourself first. Okay. Be more confident within self because that's what I'm hearing. Some of you, you're not confident. <clears throat> okay. Also, okay. Okay. All right. You also got you deserve love that wanted to come out. That was the card that fell out. You also have this could be the one. Okay. So this is definitely the one. Also, you have unrequited love. That's not enough attraction or currency to keep this relationship going. So with this card coming out and then you got trust, the situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay. So some of you can feel like this is an unrequited love. And that's why this runner came out so some of you may feel may have felt like oh it probably was a fling or you know when it first started out or whatever but that's not the case this could be the one this is the one spirit is saying that you deserve love and to trust this situation okay like this is definitely going to work out for your best good taurus Okay, so this is not an unrequited love. It may have started off that way, but it's not. And I'm saying that you or this person is going to stop running. What is this? You got playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner... Yeah, so have fun. Have fun in this. Let yourself, let yourself have fun, okay? Let your guards down, all right? All right, flirt. Look at that. Flirt came out. And look, back of the deck. Look at that. Wedding. Okay? This situation involves merge. Okay? This is definitely your soulmate. This is definitely a new love. Keep an open mind. Yeah. So everything is looking good. Like, this person is different from your usual type tours. Okay? This is somebody that's different. It's new, you know, you ain't used to this. And, yeah, you just let yourself flow with it, man. All right. Let's see some mindful messages. Okay, return to the body, Taurus. When I am caught up in a stressful moment, I can move my awareness to my body. Is my jaw clenched? My body tense? How is my posture? This helps me to see where I can relax and let go of tension. Now I can return to any situation more calm and present. Okay? So Spirit is saying when you're stressful, when you're feeling stressed, can you see that? Pay aware, pay, uh, be aware of, you know, what's going on with your body, okay? When you're feeling stressed out, or anything of that nature. Okay, Taurus? So listen to your body. Pay attention to the signs. Okay? Some of you, when I'm here, you may need to go get checked out. But pay attention. Okay? Let's see what other messages come out for you, Taurus. What other messages come out for Taurus July the 11th through the 15th? Thank you. All right, just what I needed. Three cards. 
Okay, the two cards that popped out for you, the first one is the better it gets. When things happen that cause me to feel good, I know there are much more good feeling things coming my way. The better it gets and I keep rising up. Okay, so things are about to be looking up for you guys, Taurus. Okay, and love and everything, okay? <clears throat> also, you got edge of greatness. The universe is opening doors for me, bringing opportunities my way. I don't crumble at the edge of my greatness. I take the opportunities that come and walk through the doors with confidence. Okay, so Spirit definitely said, you know, your commitment is being tested. Doors are opening. You're ascending to the next level. So that's confirmation again right there. You got it three times. Confirmation. Okay. <clears throat> also, let's see what your uh, star seed card. Let's get a message for you all. Okay. Okay, y'all. <laughs> Spirit got three messages for y'all. Okay, let's take these three that fell out. Oh, star seed. You are a star seed, Taurus. So it says, raise the vibration of the planet through your radiant loving light okay star c oh can you see that okay yes raise your vibration all right then we got blue star follow the light of your inner compass the blue star it will lead you to the truth that resides within your soul okay so whatever um answers and question you know whatever you've been trying to find the answers to the truth to is it resides within yourself. Okay, choice. By staying conscious in your thoughts, you guide your journey in the direction of choice. Okay. Also, let's pick um your fortune cookie cards. We're gonna close out with the fortune. All right, Taurus. Let's see what that's about. And you know, you guys, with your relationship card, um, with the back of the deck of the black part, I don't know why this keeps coming to me, telling me to say something about this, but this was the back of the deck, the butterfly. <clears throat> okay, relate your relationship is evolving to the next phase. Phase. Okay, so um, this relationship that you're in, especially if this is a new person who you thought was um, unrequited. Or whatnot. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely going to the next phase. Okay, you'll be healing. Okay, let's get one more. One more, please. Thank you. All right, Taurus. So you got two that came out. You got positive work outcome. Consistent effort will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making. Okay, so you have a positive work outcome, Taurus. Okay, and you will be making a purchase. Also, burnout. Your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, dentist, and health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, what I say... What I say, pay attention to your body. See, that card came out. Remember, y'all? Return to the body. Like, when you're stressful, you need to uh, be aware of what you're feeling and stuff like that. <clears throat> okay? So, that is your reading tours for July the 11th through the 15th. I hope that this resonated with you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Also, make sure you give this a big thumbs up. Also, may, be sure to follow me on social media, um, as you see on the ticker down below. Also, if you would like to book a reading with me or like spiritual work done, definitely email me at houseofamedicaoutlook.com. And also go to the description box. My Etsy store is in there where you can book a reading with me or book um, a spiritual work that you may need done. Okay, I love you guys, Taurus. Be sure to give this a thumbs up again. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you'll always be notified when your girl posts videos such as this one. I love y'all. Stay beautiful, stay fresh, and fuck the stress. 
Okay, until next time, I love y'all. Peace.